What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. We check out the latest gear and gadgets for life's adventures. Hey, before we get into the video today, I wanna to tell you about a new giveaway that we're doing right now on the channel. We're getting really close to 15,000 subscribers and to celebrate, we're gonna do an awesome giveaway of a big bundle of Rumpel gear worth more than $400. All you have to do to be entered to win is like this video, comment on any of my videos, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. When we hit 15,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away some awesome stuff. Don't miss out. Hey, do you have kids? I've got kids. If you're like me, you're carting them around to all sorts of things during the week. Practices, school events, field trips, family outings, all sorts of things during the week. It's awesome, but life happens during all those things too, and sometimes you need a little bit of help. This video is all about this ultimate dad's EDC kit I built out that has just about everything you need in it to take care of all those things that happens with your kids, from cleaning them up, to taking care of boo-boos, to taking care of any sort of problems that come up during the way. This is the kit for you. I'm using this awesome waist pack. You can put it on your waist. You can use it as a sling. Let's dive into this and check out all the stuff I packed into here. I'm gonna have all the links to all the products inside of this all in the description of this video, so make sure you check that out. Let's dive into this thing. All right, so this is our bag. This is the Dendrite Small from VanQuest. So if VanQuest sounds familiar, uh, they make really awesome EDC gear pouches and organizers. You may remember this from our uh, big EDC kit video that's out a few months ago. Uh, but I like their gear because they have pockets and elastic and just all these little nooks and crannies where you can put all sorts of stuff. So this is my uh, big MacGyver kit. You can go uh, check that out in that other video. But that kind of carries over to this uh, waste pack that they just put out. So uh, like I said, this is the Dendrite. This is in the small size. Um, and it kind of carries all those good things that you love about a VanQuest bag over into the waste pack form factor. So. We have a nice Cordura fabric. Uh, we got solid YKK zippers. Uh, you notice on the big pouch here, and we'll get into this in a second, but it has these huge, really easily grabbable pulls on these, and even like a little locking place here, if that was your thing for this sort of bag. Uh, nice leather badge. Um, like I said, pocket on the front, big pocket. We'll get inside, lots of little storage areas. Kind of a small hidden pocket in the back. Uh, the clasp itself, and the whole strap is actually made of this kind of uh, seat belt material. So, Really easy to kind of stretch this and shape it, and even uh, it's got a little Velcro thing built in if you want to bunch up the excess. Uh, but a nice, confident clasp, easy to put on and off. Um, but I also like these little areas here where you can latch this thing on to all sorts of different things. There's hooks in the side here, hooks in the side here. So just a super multifunctional uh, bag. This kind of overkill for a waste pack. That's why it's so awesome too. Now this bag is actually pretty new to their product line and they have a larger version of it as well. I wanted the most small compact version I could get so I chose this one. I kind of liked the multicam color too because even though it kind of has that camo look and everything, it's an understated version of that so it still looks more like a style than like it's tactical or that sort of thing. But like I said, new to their product line, it's been going in and out of stock quite a bit. So if you want this bag and you see one on their website in stock, I'd go ahead and snatch it up. It's a great purchase. So uh, let me explain a little bit more about the bag and how this kit's organized, and then we'll actually get into the contents. So let's open up uh, the big pouch, and you'll see immediately there's lots of good stuff in here. But one thing I want you to take notice of is when you actually pull out the pouch and expand it, there's still a lot of room to keep you know, snacks or whatever else you're going to need during like your actual day or whatever adventure you're going on. There's lots of stuff in each of these pockets, but there's still room to pack plenty of other stuff inside. It looks a lot like that big MacGyver pouch I showed you with all these areas to stow different things. Uh, we'll get into that here in a second. We have kind of a translucent pouch in the front here with some places to hang different items. Uh, then we have this uh, zipper area on the front and zipper area on the back. So what we're gonna do is start uh, kind of front to back and I'll work you through the way I've got this kit set up because I have distinct reasons there's items in each of these areas. So one thing I wanna say right before we get into this, this is not intended to be a survival kit or like a prepping kit or like emergency first aid kit, that sort of thing. Go check out my other videos, check out my truck video, check out my EDC kit and like what I actually carry every day. This is a supplemental kit that's purely about being a dad. So dad activities, stuff you might need when you're out in your day. Let's get to it and check out the front. So the front pouch is all about uh, cleanup. So you got kids, you're out doing stuff, you're gonna get gross. So you're gonna find a lot of items in here that kind of uh, fit the bill for that sort of thing. Uh, so we'll just go through item by item. A lot of these are in these little pouches and stuff. Uh, first off, we have Dude Wipes. Uh, there's a lot of other products like this. I really like these guys. They don't smell like anything, but again, awesome. They're technically, they say they're flushable. They're not, I, I wouldn't do that. But for any sort of kid stuff where it's really gross, or there's a bathroom accident or that sort of thing, it's good to have these. Um, another item that you've probably seen in a few of my kits, if you watch my other videos, are these Wet Ones Wipes. 
And this is one thing that I didn't really appreciate until I became a parent. And now uh, we've ordered boxes and boxes of these and I keep them in absolutely every kit, every backpack or whatever I carry. These little wipes, actually I'll open one up here just so you can see uh, the size of these things. But they are absolutely awesome. They're, I think, antibacterial. They clean up and kill like 99% of the germs, but pretty good size little wipes. Rather than just using like hand sanitizer, you know, let's say your kid ate a popsicle and is just covered with ice cream and that sort of thing. This actually lets you like scrub and get that stuff off and it actually smells super good. So you can get a rundown of some of the ingredients and everything on the back there. Really inexpensive, easy to find, uh, take up no room at all, but these things are absolutely awesome. Like I said, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Pretty great, can't recommend those more. Um, along the same lines, uh, you may have seen these in some of my other kits too. It's funny, I put these in everything because they come in packages of like 200. <laughs> so I have a giant bag of these sitting in my little prep closet. These are little compressed towel tablets. So you add a little bit of water to these and they're really great for just like scrubbing down or extra clean up or it's almost like a makeshift paper towel or like a thick napkin. So rather than keep like, you know, you know, sometimes you'll go to like McDonald's and grab a stack of napkins and just stuff them in your glove box. This is like a mini compressed version of that. Uh, take up no room at all, weigh nothing, but add a little bit of water to them. They're actually kind of fun too because they expand and everything. A great item to have. Um, you'll notice peeking up, I threw in some nitrile gloves. Again, you never know what sort of gross you're getting into <laughs> after, you know, a night out of the field or whatever else you're doing. It's just good to have this sort of thing if you got to even pick up trash or just clean up a particularly gnarly mess. So cheap, get them at Harbor Freight in a big pack. Uh, these little things, you've probably seen these in one of my other kits as well, but uh, they are screen cleaning cloths from iCloth. So whether a kid has had like a phone or a tablet or any other device that they've just gotten, again, real gross with ice cream fingers or that sort of thing, uh, these little cloths do an awesome job. They've got a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol on them and kind of a microfiber texture, but they clean stuff really well, get all the grime off, don't damage the screen or any of the coatings on the screen or anything. Come in lots of different sizes. This is one of the smaller ones, but these are pretty great to have as well. Uh, one other big item in here, and I think that's it for the front pouch. Yep. Um, along the lines of these wet ones and dude wipes and everything, this is like the jumbo version of that. It's actually a body wipe from Clean Freak. So we'll open this up. It's like a big, long, rolled up towel. It's just a more substantial version of these other things we talked about. It. We'll unroll this thing, and it's a pretty large cloth where Let's say you get done with the sports practice, you want to go out to eat or something, and all that dust and grime that gets on everybody at the field, or maybe you, it may not be your kids, maybe you. But this is pretty large, it's pretty wet, um, it's you know got a lot of strength to it and everything where it's not going to fall apart, but if you got to wipe down, uh, fragrance-free, feels great, um, antibacterial as well, they say it's biodegradable. Again, you don't want to litter or anything, but you can see how large this is. Here's this one. Here's that wet one's wipe from a second ago. This thing's pretty small, this thing kind of dwarfs that and it's a lot thicker of a material, but uh, a great item to have. Again, that's a body wipe from Clean Freak. You can get these in packs of 12, I think they sell them in packs of 50 even. It's worth picking these up, cool item to have. So that's everything in the front pocket, which I use as my cleanup pouch. We'll just seal that back up and we'll go back inside the pouch here. And let's take a look at this pocket right inside. This is gonna be kind of my boo-boo kit first aid packet here. So lots of different items in here. We'll just kind of grab some stuff and go through it. So first off, we've got Band-Aids, of course. Uh, these are my favorite, although I do like the kind that my medic makes as well. But these Band-Aids, just your standard, you know, Johnson & Johnson. These are the fabric kind. People have a lot of opinions about Band-Aids and some like the vinyl kind and some like the kind of clear kind. I like these fabric kinds. It's actually what I've got in my finger right now. I ran into an accident with a Lego box. Anyway, but I keep a couple of these in here. I keep the big size because, you know, that's normally what you need for that sort of thing. Awesome item to have. There's more related items to that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you also see I have, you'll notice a few other little medical items as we go through this, but this is just a tiny little pouch of sunscreen. Again, you never know when you're out with the kids. You're, you're getting blasted with the sun. They're getting blasted with the sun. Um, this saves them looking like a tomato. You can tell I'm super, super pale, so this is something I always think to have around. Uh, awesome little item to throw in there and something you don't come across all too often. Uh, a few little other little items here. We have a little alcohol pad. Again, this is a boo-boo kit, so you know, kids get a scrape. You want to keep it clean, keep it from getting infected. It's good to wipe that down first. Also have a few items from my medic here. A little thing of triple antibiotic. Uh, these come in lots of different first aid kits, so you may be able to pilfer them from one of those. 
just enough. Actually, you could probably make two or three uses out of this. Put those on the band-aids before you, you know, take care of those scrapes and everything. Great little item to have. Um, another thing to have here from my medic, they have this super skin. This is kind of like their version of moleskin. You can see where it peels off in the back, but uh, let's say you're on a field trip or on a family hike or out at the park, you know, you got new shoes on or boots you don't normally wear. These are absolutely awesome for keeping those big gnarly blisters from forming. Really soft, kind of bendable, kind of like a band-aid, but uh, just awesome to have and something you rarely have if you need it, but awesome to have to keep those blisters from forming. Um, and that's a super skin from my medic. Cool product. Uh, a few more different items here in this pouch we have. I just threw this in for fun because it's so small. Probably not something you'll ever have to use, but if, and if you're in some sort of scenario where you need to purify some water, it's just worth having this stuff on you. It's also really cool. Pick up a big thing of swamp water, put it in, stir it up, and it makes all the swamp water you know, clump up and fall to the bottom. It's a good makeshift science experiment, but one of those things that if you got room in your kit, it's always good to have around. I've got a, a box of this stuff, so I kind of throw it in everything. You can get chewable stuff for kids and everything. This is more for dad uh, himself and just some ibuprofen to take. That knocks out headaches and pain really quick. For me, it works a little bit better than Tylenol. I know they, all the medical guys will tell you they have different purposes and stuff, but uh, it never hurts to have a little pouch of that. And then last but not least, actually, I think there are a few more little things in here. A small Fresnel lens. You can get packs of these on Amazon. You can see how they magnify and do stuff. They have survival uses too. People use them to start fires and everything. Where these are nice is if you get a splinter and you need to kind of scrape that thing out of there, this, this gives you some visibility on that. Weigh nothing, take up, you know, no room at all. You can see how much those things magnify. Great little item to have. So a few other little things tucked away in the medical pocket here. Two items you probably won't think of. One is, are these little bug bite sting relief capsules. So. Uh, I came across these in another first aid kit and kind of stole those from that and put them in this thing, or at least just one of these. But this is awesome for you get stung by a wasp, stung by a bee. Hopefully there's no allergic reactions. Again, this kit's not designed for that, but this will quickly take that pain away. You just kind of pop the capsule and put it on there. Um, and it helps turn a really bad day into something that's not that big of a deal. Great to have in a pinch. And then if you're like me, you live in Tennessee, you're out doing outdoor stuff, whether you're in a field or on a hike in the woods or that sort of thing, having this uh, kind of smaller bug spray. Uh, you may not want to have it in here all year round if it's the time of year that you really don't need this stuff. But this is a tiny bottle uh, from Repel. It's got deed in it. It keeps those mosquitoes off and all sorts of other little critters. Really good to have. Again, doesn't weigh much. I think pretty inexpensive. All right, let's get further into the kit, into the meat and potatoes here. Um, one little item right here before we move on to all the categories back here. This is a cool little item from Tech Industries. This is a, like a mini glow fob. Um, you can even kind of tell it's glowing right now. Even though I have a bunch of light going in here, you can see uh, it's kind of picking up some glow. It's a neat little stainless steel fob uh, that has a technology called Embrite um, inside of it. And it's supposed to be like the most glow-in-the-dark, glow-in-the-dark stuff they make. I've got it attached to one of these little night eyes clips. It's also good to have these for, it's kind of like a makeshift safety pin. You can use them for all sorts of things, but I've got it attached to this because if I'm in a place at night, whether it's my kid's bag or this bag or just anything else I want to mark, you can attach it very easily just by clipping on this stuff. And then what you have is if you need to lay this kit somewhere or your kid's bag somewhere, you have a very simple way of locating it at night because these things will glow and glow pretty distinctly for hours and hours. It's like the best glow in the dark stuff. Um, I don't leave it on the outside all the time because I don't like a bunch of stuff rattling around and everything, but there's some scenarios where it makes a lot of sense to have it on there. That's good to have in the kit. Okay, so that's a medical pouch. I'm gonna move some of this stuff over to the side. It's gonna be a messy board for this video because there's so much stuff to talk about. Uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this kit and we'll kind of go through these inside pouches and I'll tell you all the stuff I keep in here. And I'll give you some alternate options as well because the stuff I have in it, there's stuff you may not need in here or you may carry differently. And so there's some other things I would actually recommend putting in these pockets if you don't use this exact stuff. But uh, we'll just start going here. I'm gonna start from right to left because there's some simple items first and foremost. One of these little Pilot G2 mini pins. There's actually a notepad in another part of this kit I'll show you here in a second. But these are awesome little clicky pins, write really well. These are actually the refills I use in my really nice tactical turn pin. Uh, it's just in a tiny little form factor. I think these may be kind of hard to find right now. For some reason, I had a hard time sourcing these, but they're awesome for little kits like this or anywhere you need a small, really cheap pin that you don't mind losing. So I keep that in here. I also have a little uh, lighter in here that I've wrapped a strip of that mini duct tape you can get. I actually have it in another one of my kits you may have seen in the other videos, but 
I probably got you know a foot or two of this tiny bright duct tape. This is good for fixing stuff, good for marking stuff, um, you know all the other things that you'd use duct tape for. These tiny little mini bic lighters are awesome to have. Of course, you know light candles, start fire, um, all the fun non bushcrafty stuff. <laughs> you need to have a lighter for just for quick help. It's great to have in a kit like this. One thing you'll notice that's missing, mostly because I just carry knives and stuff on me anyway, but there's really not any sharp objects in here. And that's because with a kit like this, sometimes you may be going to a school function or a field trip or that sort of thing where it's kind of frowned upon to have you know the typical EDC type stuff that may be uh, considered dangerous in that scenario. So that may be the most dangerous quote unquote thing I have in here is this little lighter. If you're making a kit like this, you may want to move stuff in and out of it depending on what context you're in. Um, one of my favorite items in here is this awesome flashlight from the folks at Nightcore. So this is their Tip 2 model. It's got two lenses up front, um, waterproof to a certain degree, a really cool UI. But this little flashlight right here is totally rechargeable, really small, tiny form factor and everything, but it has a turbo mode that instantly will give you 700 lumens of light. You can see how my camera just went crazy with all that light right there, but also has uh, varying levels here. I've got it on, this is the little moonlight mode. And you can tap this mode button here to cycle up through, I think like 75 lumens, 200 lumens, and then you can hold down that turbo mode and get even more. But what makes this thing so special is it's actually micro USB rechargeable. And it has a little magic trick here that I really like behind this cap, which is nearly impossible to get off uh, with just your fingers. It normally is attached to a keychain, but uh, it has these two magnets on the end of it as well. So if you need a makeshift, a makeshift light when you're working on something, you can put it on the hood of a car or the side of a metal pole or something like that and kind of have a makeshift uh, little directional lantern with it. But you can see the little micro USB port where you recharge there. Again, a lot of people keep it on a keychain. I just, I don't really like to use it like that, but small, tiny little light, tons and tons of light from it. Um, lots of battery power on a charge on like the 200 lumens mode, which is super bright. I still think you can get like a few hours on that and obviously more hours with the uh, lower powered lights. But I love that instant on crazy 700 lumen turbo, awesome in a pinch, especially at night where you're just trying to see what that noise is out in the woods or whatever else. Great light uh, from Nightcore, really good thing to have. All right, let's keep going with some of the really fun stuff here. And you'll notice in this pocket, you're probably like, what is that? I recognize the string, but maybe not this other object. So this is a Kevlar rope, really tiny, really lightweight, but holds like 150 or 200 pounds, uh, really strong stuff. It does kind of unravel at the ends uh, when you cut it. so. Be careful how you store it, but this is probably like, I think 10 or 15 feet of it. It's awesome to have in kits like this, it weighs nothing. You always need cordage. You never know when you're gonna have to repair something or fix something, um, and that comes in handy. But I have that in tandem with this little item here that I'm guessing you probably haven't seen before, and are probably wondering, what is this thing? This is actually a tiny little magnetic grappling hook. <laughs> it's made from by Tech Accessories, and it's called the Retrieve. Uh, you'll see the magnet built in here at the bottom. Uh, let's see, you can see it kind of sticking to stuff like this. This is only magnetic there right at the edge. Really cool item, but what makes it so special is if you attach a rope right here, not only can you kind of drop that down somewhere uh, and pick up something that, like a screw or something you may have lost, but if you unscrew the end here, you'll see that it contains these tiny little pegs. So when you add these into the unit, they kind of slide into these little holes and then you put the top back on. And once you do that, you have this really cool little grappling hook that you can use for all sorts of things. Here's the reality. Every dad wants to be Batman. We all want to have the utility belt. Um, this is probably like a silly thing to have, but when I saw it, I couldn't resist it. Um, it's actually really, really useful. Uh, a great scenario for something like this. Again, it doesn't happen every day, but let's say you're by a storm drain and somebody drops their keys. It's stuff like this that can save the day rather than have to try to get a grade off or try to climb down to somewhere gross. Attaching some rope to the end of this thing lowering it down somewhere, using that magnet to pick stuff up or dragging along to grab things. It can save the day. You drop something in the creek or in water. It's awesome for that sort of thing. It's also awesome just to goof off with and throw over branches and use to hang stuff up and everything. Lots of different utility with this. That is the Tech Accessories Retrieve. Really cool little item. I believe it's all titanium too. It's super, super light, which is something else important about this kit. This is a whole thing it only weighs just a few pounds. Even with all this stuff in it, I intentionally put the lightest stuff possible in here. Really fun item there. So that's Kevlar rope and the little uh, Retrieve grappling hook from Tech Accessories. All right, speaking of hanging stuff up, on the left here, we have a hero clip. All right. So the Hero Clip is basically a carabiner that has some extra superpowers. So 
I believe it's supposed to hold, this is the medium size here, or actually maybe a small size. I believe this can hold at least like 40 or 50 pounds. So it just functions like your normal uh, carabiner there. But you may have noticed it has this extra little piece right here. If you slide these items over to the side, you can see you kind of get this extra hook area. So whether you're clipping something on this way, or hanging this off the side of a table and using this to hang a backpack or something. Anytime you need to hang something up or hang something over a tree or off a bench, anytime you just need to keep stuff off the ground, uh, this sort of thing is awesome to have. You know, this has all these little attachments on the side of our bag here from VanQuest. So this is a perfect companion for that. Again, it's aluminum, lightweight, uh, weighs next to nothing, folds down really small, really small and self-contained. Once you have one of these handy, you'll find yourself putting them all over the place. I keep one in my truck, I keep one in my backpack, and I keep one in this bag. That's a hero clip, great little item. It's hard to believe we're already so far through this thing, but there's still so much to look at here. Uh, this is something that you may or may not need, just depending on how you use your devices and everything, but this is just a small little battery pack uh, from Anchor. You can see it's got a little power indicator on there. Simple user interface, micro USB, regular USB. Um, just great to have. This this pack alone can recharge my, my iPhone 13 from empty to full. Uh, about one, one and a half charges. Uh, fairly light for what it is, but I will say that this is probably the heaviest thing in the kit. So if you don't need this sort of thing or you already have it somewhere else, that's something that'll make the kit a lot lighter and you can put something else there as well. Great to have a little anchor battery pack. So if you have that, you're probably gonna need some cables to plug stuff up with. Now, normally you'd probably have to pack all sorts of different cables for different phones and different devices. But just recently, I discovered this little guy from InCharge. This is like, the cable to end all cables. Unless you need something long, this will do absolutely everything you need. Magnetically held together, little cable. Super easy to take apart and put back together and everything. One side has USB, one side has USB-C, so there's your two big standards there. But what if you need a lightning cable? What if you need a micro USB cable? Check this out. The different ends, they just pop out and expose. So now you have USB-C to USB-C for like a MacBook or something. You have either USB, or a USB-C to lightning cable. A tiny little slit in the end of the lightning charger there that actually works as a micro USB plug um, or USB-C. So literally any combination of ways to charge stuff, this thing will cover you. The only issue I've had with it, that tiny little slit for micro USB, it can be kind of fiddly to get into those uh, connectors sometimes. It does work, but sometimes it takes some effort to get it in there, but this is just an awesome little thing to have on you. It's actually a great keychain item too. I just keep it in this bag but the way it clasps together is perfect for a keychain. But that is this little in-charge charger, a great item to have along with a little phone charger. Next up is I think probably one of my favorite items in this whole bag, and that is this tiny mini blanket from Matador. So if you, again, if you watch our other videos, you know we love Matador stuff, make really cool gear. I'll show you a few other options that you can put in this kit here in a second. But these little mini blankets can be an absolute lifesaver. And again, they're tiny, they weigh absolutely nothing. They store in this little bag, but check this thing out. So you just open up this little pouch and it's kind of tightly stored in here. But what you have in this little container, you can even snap off the bag there if you want to, is this little folded up blanket that although it's not designed to keep you warm or anything, it is like the perfect seating surface if you're outside at a park or somewhere where you just need to keep yourself separated from the ground. Um, you'll see these little lines stitched into it and everything. It's hard to see on camera because of our limited field of view here, but it's got a grid shape, which shows you how to fold it back up so you can stuff it back in that tiny little bag. But this material is super lightweight, but it's really tough. It's actually waterproof as well. So if you're sitting down on a gross bench or on some bleachers somewhere after it's rained or something and you just don't want to get that you know, wet butt syndrome, this is the ticket for that. And although they say this is a one person version, it's wide enough. Again, you can't really tell on camera here, but you can sneak yourself and the kid in this thing, no problem. These little blankets live in just about all my kits. They also make a bigger version that's awesome to take to the park. I'll leave that in the truck. Uh, but that is the Matador mini blanket, cool uh, branded logo on the side there. Again, takes up no space but a great item to have in a kit like this. This pouch over there where I was keeping that charger, if I didn't have a charger there, which I don't a lot of the times, I might consider keeping one of these little Matador dry bags. Uh, this is a new product from them. Small little container, but it has this tiny little bag stuffed into this little container here, which is actually a fairly good size. So maybe you have some gross shoes or, I don't know, some clothing that just got nasty. Uh, this is a cool little bag. Uh, Kids shoes maybe, not grown up shoes. <laughs> but this is a cool little bag to stuff those items in. Again, totally waterproof. Uh, you can cinch it up. That's an awesome little item to have. Even your trash somewhere, if you need some clean way to pack it out. 
um, a really cool item to consider. So that's a little dry bag from Matador. That's a bonus item to look at. They also make pretty incredible towels. This is their new line of uh, quick dry towels, I think they're called. Uh, but I'm not going to pull this one all the way out because it's absolutely huge. This is their large size. So obviously, it's not for a kit like this. But a really killer little towel. It's a different fabric than microfiber, but it dries really quick and it wicks moisture. But they make a smaller version of this. It's about the same size as that little pocket blanket. That'd be awesome for a kit like this. Maybe something to consider if you're like, I don't know, if your kid swims or does a sport that you need to dry them off quick or you need something if it, there's like a downpour of rain or something. Um, so yeah, Matador makes some really cool stuff. Let's keep working our way through the back of this pouch. Again, this little thing stores quite a bit, lots of different room in here. Uh, so we'll just grab these here and these are foldies. So what these are is like high-end sunglasses that are really compact and packed down. So they look broken right now, but you'll see when these things fold out, uh, they fold like, I don't know, five or six different ways. But they actually make a really awesome pair of sunglasses. And these aren't just like throwaway like gas station sunglasses either. They have really cool styles. Um, this I think is the Milano or something like that, but they're almost like Ray-Ban caliber sunglasses. I really like these because they're lightweight and they're also polarized, uh, but it's super easy to keep in a kit like this. Now you may already, you know, wear sunglasses or keep them hanging around your neck or on the bill of your hat or whatever you want to do with that sort of thing. This may not make sense for a kit like this for you. They also come with a little micro microfiber cloth that I use to, you know, keep the lenses clear and keep all this stuff nice and clean. You can also use this for your phone screen, but awesome option to have for a kit like this. They also come in a few different styles. I'll show you the aviators as well. This is actually normally the case they're stored in, but I found that was a little bit too big for this kit. But, you know, these aviators are probably a little bit more dad appropriate, but work the same way, fold out. Um, I won't completely unfold them here, but have the same kind of hinge system. But really awesome, polarized, high-end, Ray-Ban style glasses, um, and a really compact, uh, size format that's just awesome for fitting in little kits or any other small spaces, even backpacks and everything. Foldies are an awesome brand, really cool product. The rest of this stuff in this little back area is dedicated to like fixing stuff and keeping stuff neat and orderly. Uh, so I have one of these little Velcro straps for like cinching wires or cables, that sort of thing. Get these at Harper Freight or on Amazon. Get these in huge packs, I put them all over the place. Uh, zip ties, of course, it wouldn't be uh, a little kit like this without zip ties. The way nothing, they're useful for all sorts of things, all sorts of little fixes and buttons pop off and you need to fasten stuff. These are a big help with that sort of thing. Also like these little bendy ties from Night Eyes. Again, they're great for cable organization, but you never know just when you need to, I don't know, cinch something up or put something together, or even make like a makeshift hook or connector or something. I just keep a few of these laying around. Great little product. And actually the last thing in this interior of the bag is one of the coolest little EDC items I came across recently and that is this TI tape tape measure from Tech Accessories. And this is just a tiny little titanium tape measure. Look how big this thing is. Maybe a little bit, um, about the same size as a quarter, obviously a little bit thicker, but it's actually a three foot measuring tape that has all the little accurate measurements and everything you need. It self retracts into the unit, um, but I use this thing all the time. I've actually started carrying this when it's not in this kit, I'll throw it in my pockets a lot of times. It's so tiny. There probably couldn't be a more dad-centric tool than a tape measure, but this is an awesome little EDC gadget that I think we're probably gonna start seeing in more and more kits. It's super fidgety. Also, the tape inside, if it ever gets worn out or the spring gets worn out, is replaceable. It comes with a whole little mechanism there that you can change that out so you don't lose this awesome little titanium container if the tape or spring wears out or anything. TI tape from Tech Accessories. Tech Accessories makes a lot of really cool stuff, so make sure you check them out. That is the last item from the inside of the bag. Let's take a final look here around back in this little zipper pocket here. So this pocket isn't as accessible, especially if you have it on. It's kind of almost a little hidden secret pocket. Uh, but I keep, do keep a few useful items in here. Hand warmers. Can't go wrong with these. This is just one. I kind of snipped it uh, from another packet, but man, these things are awesome in a pinch. It's one of those things if you don't use them all the time, you may not even think you need them, but once you start putting them in kits and having them handy, it's just so great to have. And they last about 10 hours. They actually get hotter as they go. I don't know if you've noticed that with these, but the first few hours they stay nice and warm. By the time I get home and like lay them on a nightstand or something, it seems like they're blazing hot. Again, weighs nothing, nice and flat. Um, a few more little things I have in here. I mentioned to have a notebook earlier. This is uh, one of the awesome Field Notes notebooks. I think this is like the Roadside Sign series. It's got kind of a cool metallic finish. I don't know if you can see on the video right now. Lots of little space to write stuff in here, but what I like about these, they have that nice grid graph paper. You can use these to write notes, tear it out, stick it under a you know car windshield wiper or something like that. But if you need to do a quick little sketch up, 
The grid lines are helpful for that. Field notes are great. Keep them in a lot of kits. They go in this bag as well. And the last little item in this whole kit right here is just a simple uh, backup mask. Uh, so you know how it's been with the pandemic. You never know where you're going to need a mask. Uh, we go in and out of seasons of seeming to have to have them. This is just one to have as a backup. I think this is actually an antiviral one. Uh, you can buy these in kits on Amazon, but just a simple paper mask. Small, weighs nothing. Easy to have in a kit like this, and it can be a lifesaver. Awesome to have just in case. So there you have it guys, the ultimate dad's EDC kit. Is it overkill? Probably. Is it awesome? I think so. So as a dad, there's just something about being ready for everything that might come up and all of life's little different scenarios and everything. And having a kit like this that doesn't look like a diaper bag, that doesn't necessarily look like a man purse, but just kind of a cool little sling bag or waist pack, um, I think it's an awesome way to store all this stuff and have it with you and still have some room for some other stuff. This hopefully has everything you need. Like I said, if you're interested in any of this gear at all, I've got all the links for it down in the description of this video. Make sure you check those out and snatch some of this stuff up. You may want to switch some stuff out with what works in your context, but I really like all this gear and wouldn't recommend it if it hasn't worked for me. Definitely check this stuff out. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to let us know. And don't forget about that big Rumpel giveaway contest, more than $400 worth of awesome stuff. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in any of our videos, and you get a chance with every one of those actions of winning that awesome kit. I think you'll absolutely want to have that. Thanks for watching this. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.